Well, good morning, pilgrims. I have um, just left my hostel this morning in San Nicolas, and it's, I didn't leave until about seven, which is pretty unusual. Uh, part of that is because today was, um, I'm only going 25 kilometers, and the temperature has cooled off quite a bit this week. Um, so I think today it's high as like 28 degrees Celsius, which is something around um, 84 or something. So that's, you know, that's manageable. Um, but the other reason was because I just had, did not feel well this morning at all. I don't know if that was because I uh, just am not feeling well, have some kind of a virus bug, um, or if that is um, just the weird schedule I kept yesterday with uh, walking, uh, you know, in the morning and not sleeping and all that kind of thing. And then, so anyway, um, I don't know exactly why, but not feeling too hot today, but got some water going and feeling better now and I'm out on the trail. So anyway, uh, I'm going 25 kilometers today uh, and we'll end about 37 kilometers from Lyon, which is going to be my last day of walking. And um, therefore, I'll go kind of along 37 kilometers tomorrow um, and finish out my walking in Lyon. Hello there pilgrims uh, hopefully you can hear okay with that wind I don't have the windscreen on the microphone anymore been lost to the Camino uh, but hopefully you can hear that okay so I am um, about 22 23 kilometers away from Lyon and I don't have a lot of uh, video footage for you for yesterday um, and let me just tell you a little bit about why so I got up in San Nicolas um, yesterday morning and had just a wonderful day. Remember I had the night hike the day before and I got to spend quite a bit of time in San Nicolas having gotten there so early. I had a great day, wonderful food at the alberga uh, and some great conversations with a few friends there. And then um, I got up yesterday morning and uh, was feeling quite sick. Um, I, I didn't know what it was at the beginning, um, and I think I said that in the video. I'll have to look back to remember what I said, but um, yeah, I was feeling quite sick. It became clear to me as I walked and uh, with some things that were going on with my system that it was either um, something that I got in the water or something that I ate. Um, it is possible that when we were walking the night, the night hike, I might have gotten water that was non-potable um, because we wouldn't have been able to see the signs, but there aren't very many non-potable fountains there. So I really think I must have just gotten something bad to eat, even though the food was delicious there and was very sick. And um, so I did walk 18 kilometers yesterday, even with that sickness, which I thought was pretty good, actually. Uh, to be able to make the distance, um, 18 kilometers. Um, so, uh, I had already made reservations for tonight in Leon. Um, and, so I had already made reservations tonight in Leon, and I think I may have mentioned earlier that um, this was a section from Lagronio to Leon that I had never walked. But because my plans got sort of messed up about going to Santiago, I decided this was sort of uh, my opportunity then to have walked the last little bit of Camino Frances that I've not seen. And so, um, anyway, with my illness yesterday and the short day, that means today I need to go 45 kilometers um, to get into Lyon. And that's not so bad. 
Um, my feet especially feel great after um, a fairly short day yesterday. And um, I, this morning as I, I left, actually yesterday because I got stalled up, I got to see a couple of folks, um, Noeline from Belgium and Maria from Hungary, who I hadn't seen in several days. And that was great to be able to have a meal with them and walk with them for a bit. And then this morning, I uh, walked with the two of them for part of the morning, most of the morning. And then um, I'm now set out on the last 25 kilometers to Lyon. It's gonna be a bit of a push. And if I have to, I'll take a taxi for the last little bit. I've got a group of folks that I really have gotten to know. Um, in fact, you've seen some of them already in the videos. Um, and uh, they are in Lyon uh, today already. Um, they went ahead and so I'm gonna get there today regardless however if they get there and I want to be able to spend a last time last meal with them and uh, extra special there maybe she'll see this is Nora from Italy is turning 20 years old on st. James birthday tomorrow so she shares a birthday with st. James feast day and uh, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to celebrate her today um, uh, and be able to to uh, bring her into her 20s uh, on Camino. So anyway, um, I am, uh, like I said, about 22 kilometers outside of Lyon. I'm gonna try to push and see how I can do. Great weather today. You know, it's been very, very hot across the Meseta. Yesterday, the weather was significantly better I think 28 degrees for the high and today it's only gonna get up to 25 which is about 76 77 degrees I think Fahrenheit and uh, I need it because I'm going a long ways so great weather good morning good uh, good company this morning and now I'm uh, gonna finish out the rest of my the last miles of this Camino for me uh, by walking into Leon hopefully I'll be able to show you how that goes, peace. Well, that wasn't easy. Um, I'm about one kilometer from the bar where some of my uh, Camino friends are eating, which is maybe another half kilometer from the cathedral. And I'm very, very tired. I did 45 kilometers. Um, I've never gone that far before. Uh, but I made it. Fortunately, the weather was really good today. That helped make it possible. But truly, the other thing that made that possible was um, about nine kilometers from here, I was exhausted. I was really just trying to keep my feet moving because I wasn't making very much progress. And I came upon Michaela who's an Italian woman 
who I've only barely talked to at all. She's been walking with one of the groups that I walk with, but she's been gone for a few days and, and hadn't really talked with her anyway. So we got to talking and she's very strong. She was at the end of a long day too and she was able to keep going and uh, I was just able to keep up with her, sort of, and um, she um, she and I just had some conversation about what our work worlds are like and what she's doing and the new dreams that she's pursuing, and, uh, and that was a bit of a Camino Angel for me because those last nine kilometers uh, seemed pretty daunting. And uh, we walked together for seven of them, and it was not so bad. So we do this together, friends. Some of you wonder if you can come on Camino alone, and I'll suggest that you will never be alone here, even if you choose to be solitary sometimes. You're never alone, and I'm thankful for my uh, little Camino angel today and uh, thankful for walking a very long walk. second Camino um, my first one with students I remember being on the airplane and just crying for for hours quite literally hours on the way home thinking about um, the relationships that are formed and the ones that will never be the same again because we'll never be on the way in that in that way again um, and you know I, I really have felt the same way about this pilgrimage I think about the the great friends that uh, I've been able to make the connections that I've been able to make um, people that I really, uh, I hope that I'll get to stay in touch with for a long time, but the reality is, um, you know, maybe it won't happen with most of them even. And maybe one or two that you that you really connect with, that you stay in touch with longer, but for so many of us, we're not going to be able to maintain these Camino friendships over the long term. And that, I think, for me is the hardest part, is coming home, coming off the trail and losing that pattern of, of just waking up and, and eating a bite and, and getting on to the walking um coming returning from that to the 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 grind of everyday life the the realities of our of our work and our um our just personal responsibilities um but then to to walk away from these relationships that have meant so much to us while we're on the trail and to now um uh, return to to our normal life and 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 maybe for many of those people never see them again um, and, and maybe for a few of them only see them rarely. So for me, 
definitely the hardest part has been uh, lots of sadness as I've gotten off the trail. Uh, I was actually said goodbye to my friends, my Camino friends, um, a couple days ago. Um, and uh, and now getting ready to uh, to board a plane in just a few minutes, and uh, and for sure I can say that that this is the hardest part of a pretty challenging Camino.